Okay, welcome to Fun with Excel. Let's see what we can do with this made up data set we have. Um, first thing that I want to do when I get a data set is I want to kind of take a quick look at it, see what I have. Looks like I have a customer list here. Um, I want to select the last name, uh, and actually I'll do it this way. So I'll just um, cut that um, off the whole column. And I'm going to put it over by first name. Uh, only reason I'm doing that is just to make it easier to um, look at and see what's going on. Uh, insert the cut sales in there. Uh, you notice I did insert cut sales so that uh, the whole thing would go in. If I would have done paste, it would have pasted over the top of the email column that I have there. So if you want to pause and play with that, you can uh, move the data set on over. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do as I look through is uh, how do I want to use this data? Well, one thing I want to look at is how many customers I have that use the various different domains here. Um, I want to break that out several different ways. So just insert a few columns to play with here. And then with this column, hold down the shift key, hit end in the down arrow, and that selects all of our data. Um, from there, I'm going to go to um, the text to column command. And then I want to break out at the um, um, at symbol. Uh, before I do that though, let's go ahead and copy and paste. Um, and then that way I can play with this data without it um, messing up my original data. So, um, so now I have this. I'll go to text columns. I'm going to at the click on other and do the at symbol in order to break things out at the at symbol on my email address. And now you'll notice that I've got what preceded the at symbol and what followed the at symbol. I'm not interested in what preceded it, so I'm just going to delete that column. Okay. Now I still have the um, last bit here that I need to break out. There's a couple of different ways that I can do it. I'm going to show you the best way first um, is just do what we just did. So let's copy, um, you know, or rather highlight that entire thing, text to columns. Um, still delimited, and then let's do the period instead of the um, other. That looks good. And now everything's broken out, and it looks really nice and neat as I scroll down. Um, yeah, no problems in that that I see. So uh, life is good. So now then I have my um, email um, domain. Uh, email extension. Okay, and everything's labeled, so I like this, um, and that takes care of that. There's another way I could have broken that out, but I'll save that for a different video to keep this length under five minutes, hopefully. Uh, there on the date, I want to go ahead and get that set up um, in a format I can read. Uh, so there's a format I can read there on date. Uh, the other thing that I might want to do is to break this down where I can see uh, maybe by month or by day of the month, by year, whatever. Uh, let's break this down by month. So I have a column that just shows me the month. That might come in handy later. So yeah, if I want to take the sum of things, I do equal sum. If I want to do the um, average, you know, equal average. If I want to know the maximum value in a list, I'll say equals max. So to find the month, um, let's take a wild guess uh, of what command we can use to find the month. And we'll just guess equals month. Okay. And I want to input that. And now you'll notice that my month comes in nice and easy. Um, for day, take a wild guess of what command we use for that. We'll try equals day. And then for year, um, let's do equals year. And I want to copy those down. So I double click on that right corner. That's my year. And now I have a pretty decent way to go through and look at these. Uh, I have things by state, other ways as well. Um, but life's looking pretty good with the way that I have this at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and conclude at the five minute mark on that. Uh, I'll make another video then that shows you the next thing we're going to go from there, but uh, bye for now.